Hello .NET Masters! Welcome to another lecture of .NET Masters training. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about introduction to .NET. As .NET was developed by Microsoft. The .NET framework consists of code and libraries. Which is further uh, consists of a lot of code work. The code work is based on real life application development by the Microsoft programmers. The .NET framework is based on CLI. CLI stands for Common Language Infrastructure. The CLI is further composed of CLR. The CLR stands for Common Language Runtime. CLR consists of CLS and CTS. The CLS stands for Common Language Specifications. In Common Language Specifications, we have many things defined. As it specifies the version of the .NET framework, the syntax of the languages it uses, and many more. The CTS stands for Common Type System. It defines the data types used by its compliant languages, as int, float, etc. SC Sharp is platform independent. Because code generated is not directly compiled into machine code, but is converted to Ansel Microsoft Intermediate Language, or IL. That stands for Intermediate Language. So, to translate Ansel or IL to, into any machine, uh, the machine should contain .NET framework similar to that of JVM in case of Java. To convert a Java code, a JVM is needed to install on the target machine that, that can understand the Java code and it will convert this Java code into respected uh, respective machine or platform. So we use Visual Studio for the uh, for development of .NET compliant applications. We will be developing desktop applications as Windows Form applications, WPF applications, and we will be developing. ASP.NET applications for web development. That's it for today. Stay tuned. Have a nice day.